don't dress for a ride, dress for a slide, as the common saying goes. But how do you actually do it when the heat is overpowering and after five seconds outside you start to melt? And this is not the kind of union you want to have with your bike. I live in the Mediterranean, summer all year country. So it was literally the burning problem to solve for me. And I got the answer in this video. It may be surprising, but this is where the majority of injuries happen. You should invest in the best motorcycle boots you can get your hands on. Currently, I'm riding in those beautiful retro classic shoes. Supposedly, they do have some protection inside, but to be honest, I would not trust them with having my bike fall on them. So I actually yesterday ordered a fully protective boot that you can take a look right now. I will review them later on, but I think this is something you may take a look for yourself as well. They are wonderfully perforated, but still providing full safety. So now the pants. It took me really incredibly long and I would say it was the hardest thing of my wardrobe to get my hands on that would enable my skin to breathe. And those pants are available in one of the shops that we recently bought them, but they are not unfortunately produced any longer. And as you can see, they are beautifully perforated everywhere. They are really comfortable and you can wear them even after you jump into the sea, when you have your skin slightly damp or just sweaty <laughs> because summer. So it is e really easy to wear them. And remember that this is not only about falling on the road that you want to be protected from, but this is as well protecting you from burning your legs when incidentally you touch some really hot parts of your motorcycle. They do have more of a modern look, but honestly, I don't care because they are the most airy that you can get out of there. And now the jacket. Well, you probably won't die if you do not wear one. I mean, statistically speaking, but you can for sure spare yourself a huge amount of pain if you are not willing to put one of those. And honestly, I do not understand nowadays why we should not be fully protected because with the technology, you can you do not feel that jacket at all it is incredibly lightweight and while riding you do not feel it it does not restrict you the airflow is amazing it is re i mean you can even see here how visible it is but at the same time you are 100% protected so i love the jacket and uh, once again i think this is more of a sporty look not into the retro side which i am more inclined to but i think when it's above 30 degrees you don't care actually i mean i don't care at least so i want to be protected and i want to be as cool as possible so this is my choice and gloves where well, I do have Alpine Star leather gloves. They have some strengthening on the knuckles. They have some strengthening on the kind of slider part. I recently ordered a two pairs of specifically designed summer gloves with huge perforations. So I will update you on that. In those gloves, when while I'm riding, either in the early morning or late, in the evening at night even when it's above 30 degrees i'm fine but today i was riding in around the midday and i was getting really warm especially that i was riding in a place where i could not ride fast so it is it can get warmy but 
I believe that if you live in a more moderate climate, I think you can get away with those as a full all year round uh, gloves because I use them in the our mild autumn and winter. So I really like them. They're quite comfortable and they go with everything. I'm really happy with them as well and I can recommend them. And now the eternal question, full helmet or open face helmet? To be honest, I prefer the wider vision and in being immersed in surroundings while riding in an open face helmet. But I do not ride any farther than five minutes to the closest beach to Marina. That's it. Because first of all, it gets really loud when you're riding that helmet and I'm quite sensitive to a loud sound or whatever. It is not obviously that safe because that part of your face is not protected. It is even the whole face is not properly protected if something even a bug was going to hit you or a, a stone a rock coming out of some car i heard that one guy had a full size bird crash into his helmet so if he was not wearing a full face helmet he might have experienced some problems i'm loving that full face helmet it it's got some airflow here and there. Uh, it also is fully workable, incorporated with a Sena system, which I adore. This is the best system ever. I love using it. You can uh, expect some review coming up. So this is another advantage of wearing actually full face helmet. I do not feel any restrictions while in terms of breathing or feeling like I'm going to pass out or anything. I mean, when we stop and go do something, you just take the helmet off. And when you're riding, it's perfectly fine. And now let's go into our choices for the guys. We will quickly show you the equally airy and perforated as well as safe options for men. So check it out. We are experimenting with the cooling base layers. To be honest, I am not sure whether I feel any difference, but they've got really positive reviews, so maybe it's just me and Miha actually enjoys riding in them. Let us know in the comments down below what are your choices for the summer riding. And as always, stay safe, enjoy your ride, and see you next week.